Hey, welcome back everyone. Don here. So it is time. Springtime that is. It's uh, warmer out. Uh, no more salt on the roads. We've had some uh, uh, significant uh, rainfall, enough to wash the salt off the roads. And so it's time to uh, take these two cars out of uh, hibernation and get them, uh, get them road ready. Uh, shouldn't take much, right? I just need to check the, uh, check the fluids and all that good stuff. Make sure uh, tire pressures are good and all that. But uh, starting them after five months is the trick. So I'm going to do that now and thought I'd take you along. First thing I need to do is move my uh, coat rack. So now I got to get my car cover off of here. This, uh, this cover was given to me by um, a very close friend of mine who's no longer with us. And so I, uh, I like using it because it makes me think of him. Now I gotta get the battery tender off of here. I put, uh, I put a tender on uh, both cars every year um, and it makes a world of difference, especially in the Corvette with the computer system and stuff, um, with the window, in, uh, window indexing and things like that. Um, it's a pain in the neck when that battery goes dead. Quick oil check and we'll be ready to try and start.
basically uh, spray the whole thing down, let it sit 10 minutes, rinse it gently, not with high pressure. Uh, certainly don't use compressed air or any of that. Sit it out in the sun and let it dry. Then I'll spray it with oil. And I probably should be wearing gloves, but you know how that goes. And yes, Michael, this warrants blue towels instead of the white, less expensive paper towel. So now I'll let it dry in the sun, and when it's dry, I'll oil it. So now that it's dry, clean and dry, I can use uh, oil on it. And this is uh, part number 99-0504. Um, I don't know if I'm, I think I'm gonna be short. I did try to buy it. I've had this one for a couple of years. I've used it a few seasons now, but I uh, tried to get a new one from my local parts store, actually three parts stores, and they were all out. So what to make do. Um, I don't use the car much. Chances are if I can't coat everything like I need to, um, the car's just coming in the garage and it won't get driven for at least a week anyway. So I'll get some if I have to uh, rely on the old internet to get it uh, delivered here. So we'll see how it goes. But in any case, to uh, uh, oil this thing, it says that you want to go with the pleats. And uh, I don't know that I've got enough oil to do that. So I'm going to spritz it and, and at least get some on it. Um, knowing it's not correct, but I'll have to just make do. Let's see if I have any left over when I go around this once. You might just make it. So yeah, anyway, uh, you can see how it changes it to a red tinge. It's the color of the oil. Um, and I think we're, uh, we're going to be able to give that a couple minutes, let it soak in. Let's see. Spray evenly along each pleat, holding nozzle about three inches away. Do not spray in a circular motion. Let filter stand for 20 minutes and respray any visible white spots. So I think we're okay. We'll let this sit and uh, we'll take a look at it. I don't have any oil left, so uh, if I have any uh, spots I missed, I'm not going to be able to do anything about it right now. But uh, I'll get another can this week, take it back off, and uh, touch it up as I need to uh, before, uh, before I end up driving the car this weekend. All right, so it's been a little while. Um, it looks like I was able to get enough oil on this. Um, I think we'll be all right. I'll certainly need to get some more oil, but uh, I'll go ahead and put this together and we'll put it back on the car. By the way, this, uh, this four post lift makes a great workbench. Nice. So one of the reasons why this car starts so uh, hard in the cold is because there's no choke on it. There we go. Well, all right, ready for spring. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you next time.